Good day everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create a splash screen in GDevelop 5. So first of all, let's open our GDevelop 5. Have mine here. So first of all, we need to create a scene. You come here at the left side of the screen. Click on the plus button. Now we automatically add a scene. Let's click on these three dots here. Scroll down, let's name that to... Um, Screen um splash splash now click on that and this here's our scene so I don't actually need this background I need something black set that to black right click scene properties click on the color here and I'll just set that to black here okay now it's black so we also need to add the logo object here. Um, this is where you actually add it. Click on this sprite object name. I will be using logo. You don't have to follow mine. In case you have a different name, but I will be using logo. Click on the plus sign and here. And um, let me something like this. Okay. And apply. So here's my logo, I'll just put that into the scene. Um, zoom out, zoom out. It looks really nice. So now let's come to a splash events and add a new empty event. Add condition beginning at the beginning of scene. Add condition. Passive change sprite opacity logo notification sign set to value zero. Okay, add another empty event and on the add conditions, add actions, um, sprite sorry, opacity change sprite opacity logo notification sign. Add you have to use add anything else and it won't work. Value from um, time delta open bracket close and a star and 15. The 15 is actually the speed um, that's the rate it takes to now let's add another sub um, sub event 20 events add condition pass Opacity object logo sign of test equals to valid compare one zero sorry sign of test greater than or equal to okay let's add condition change scene change the scene I don't have, actually have another scene now but if you have another one you can actually just fill it here so I'm just using this as a random name okay now Here's how it actually works. At the beginning of the scene, um, though it, it, it makes a it change of our logo to zero. Now it, it increases the um, speed of the, that's how it becomes visible at the rate of 15. So that's why we need this plus. Plus takes it up, it adds the 15. Now when the passive logo is greater than or equal to 100 it changes to C2 so let's play that okay it looks really nice this is how it's done and 